as Golden Gear Tech here today. I just received this case in the mail. This is the Raid Max or the Super Blade Raid Max case, um, and I'm pretty excited to open it up because this is where I'm going to be putting all my computer parts for my new computer that I'm building. Um, hopefully, it all works. <laughs> so, uh, see, so yeah, let's go over the outside of this box here. Pretty plain shipping box. I like how they have their own. Uh, boxes that they ship it in. I do have a hole in the box which I don't like. There's like a big dent in it. You can see that. Um, but yeah, so it's a pretty simple box. Got some uh, pertinence and such on the side. Right over here it says that it's uh, the Super Blade model. Uh, can't see that right there because the shipping label I tried to peel off so you can see all this stuff. Um, I got the yellow and then external drive bays is the uh, four five point five and a quarter drives and then one three and a three and a half and then internal drive bays uh, you guys probably can't see this but four three and a half hard drive bays and then the system board that can uh, fit in there 10 by 12 inches is the max size ATX form factor and micro ATX that's just like how big your board is. That's going in here. And then the expansion slots is uh, standard ATX7 slots. So there's ATX7 slots. So there's going to be seven uh, PCI slots that you can plug into. And then for the I.O. ports, you got one 3.0, USB 3.0, one USB 2.0, and two audio. Which I think is the front of the case is what they're talking about. So... That's good. Um, coming around to the front here, and then to the side, this shows just all the uh, drive stuff here, like the stripes on the top. There's little water cooling uh, rubber holes there, and then there's bottom CPU fan. This CPU goes on the bottom. Also, there's tool free uh, for the hard drives, so you don't need, really need like screwdrivers and all that, all that. I don't think is what that means. Um, and then right here they got smart one clip bay covers so you just open that up and you can put your uh, storage device in there and then <coughs> or your uh, optical drive and then right here they got the front IO ports there's the 3.0 USB 2.0 and then they got the two audio slots right there and what's really cool about this is in the front it says robot face front panel better cooling performance with an amazing robot look. So that's that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. Oh, I used a lot of breath on that one. I'm pretty excited to open this up. It's even got a nice window on the side. Kind of a weird shape, but hey, at least you can get an extra fan on the side. So, um, yeah, let's open this bad boy up. Also on the top and bottom, it just says Super Blade. Right there. Looks nice. So, uh, try and get this in one shot here. Uh oh. She's stuck. There would be a problem. The flap was covering it. There we go. All right. Set that over there. You got your little ah oh oh static. You got your little ah oh. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> all right. So you got your nice little styrofoam, pretty sturdy uh, supports. Keep it in place. Just feel the static coming off of this stuff. Oh man. Um, you got a nice little plastic bag here <laughs> to generate static for you. <clears throat> and here is our case. It looks really nice. Kind of looks like Bumblebee from Transformers. Um, that's what it reminds me of, anyway. Nice little plastic piece for the window there. 
Alright, so I kind of wanted to check out these quick uh, dry slots. So it looks. <coughs> Alright, it looks like what it is is you just open this up, you can take it off. It's got a nice little mesh on the, or a nice little uh, filter thing on the inside. Great for ventilation, got all the holes on the outside. Um, so I'm guessing what this is is you can just take it out and uh, put a drive in there, like tilt this thing in there. Just tilt it up and you can put your drive in there. So that's that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put these back in here. I'm gonna try. Uh oh. There we go. Alright. Just like that. Alright, and then on the front here they got the uh, the two the, the power button and the reset button, which that's awesome both they're both yellow and then they got the little indicators right here for like hard, hard drive activity and all that I think uh, I don't I quite know what they're for so yeah they got the nice indicators here for hard drive activity and power I think and I'm not quite sure what that's for and then right down here they got the USB 3.0 right there and then uh, not sure if you guys can see this but they got the USB 3.0 right there and then 2.0 and then the, the headset Jesus thing is bad shape <laughs> then they got the headset thing right there so that's always great and then down here they got cool ventilation uh, design for that so that's that's pretty cool turning it around to the side they got this uh, nice window right here nice green or uh, blue tint so you can see inside sorry um, and then they got this nice uh, hexagon uh, ventilation for another vent fan. Um, turning to the back, they got the PCU, or PSU, I'm sorry, um, bay where you can put your power supply um, on the bottom, and looks like on the bottom they do have a filter, which I'll get to that later. And then they got the seven uh, PCI slots, the expansion slots. Here's the coolings and for cords and all that, the three rubber, um, and then they also have a fan included on the back, which you can take off and uh, put your own in there. Also, they got the place for the IO shield. Uh, pretty, it's pretty nice. They got, uh, yeah, I'll get to this stuff later. But yeah, so that's awesome. And then on the side, all they got is the three stripes right, right there. And then, uh, so now to take off these two side panels, all you need to do is unscrew these thumb screws. Actually, no, I was going to get to the bottom. So the bottom, as you can see, it's just got four rubber legs, which looks like you can unscrew them. And then they got a nice little, uh, not, it's not like a metal sheet, it's like an actual cutout uh, filter. That just pops off, and it's just a little, you know. So it just it, it can just pop off for cleaning and stuff, and it's just a little uh, screen mesh sort of thing. So um, so you can just slide it off. I'll try and get it all back on now. All right, so that's that's good right there. before. Anyway, um, so now on the back to get into this case all you have to do is unscrew these uh, four little thumb screws. Uh, first let's open up the window side so it just slides back and off and then on the other side there's another, uh, another little plastic sticker sort of thing so you don't get fingerprints on here. It also looks like you can remove this to get a replacement or a different color. So it's a pretty nice rigid build. It's not bendy really, well kind of, but it'll it holds its shape. Set that over there. Alright, so now we're on the inside, the included packaging in here. Um, looks like they got little some little uh like onboard audio 
and then they got cable ties and little washers and standoffs and stuff like that. So that's pretty useful. I like how they didn't really hide it, and there's a nice little twisty tie you can use it later. And uh, now they have, over here, they have the stuff for the uh, front panel. Looks like there's the on and off and all that, and the USB and uh, stuff like that. So that's, that's pretty cool. Also back here, there's the, um, there's a Molex power connector for the fan right here. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, back here, or over on the drive slots, for the quick uh, drive things, I guess what it is, is there's two little uh, pins right here that'll just lock into the hard drive bays um, just to keep it in place, so that's, that's pretty cool. And it just snaps right back in place on, the, on here. So I can actually get this back on. I need to figure this out. <clears throat> Alright, so that's cool for right there. And same for down here. Uh, looks like you can tr take out these drive bays if you need, like, more room for, um, look in here. more room for, like, airflow, which, if you look in here, you can't really see that there's more room or another space for another fan. Uh, so that's good. They really want to get the uh, airflow through here. So that's, that's awesome. You got a little standoffs already for your motherboard, so that's cool. Um, really, I think that's it for the inside of this, on this side. Uh, just going to flip it around to this side now. Take out the little thumb screws. I really like it when cases do this, uh, because then it's just pretty easy, uh, reliable access to the inside of your case. Alright, so that just pops off again. Nice rigid design. And on this side, you just have more access to places like the hard drive bays and your cables. You can run cables through here, which is uh, which is pretty cool. I like that idea. So um, that basically wraps it up. Uh, this was the uh, I need the name again. Okay, Super Blade case. From Raid Max, I'll have the exact like number and everything, uh, model number and everything in the description and probably in the title. So that'll be that'll be awesome. Um, thanks for watching. I think I got this for like sixty bucks on Newegg. I'll also have a link for it. Pretty awesome case. And again, I'll be taking you guys step through step on social media, Twitter, Facebook, on how my build is going. So go check that out. Uh, that's that's basically it. Thanks for watching, and I'll hope to see you in another video.